John Watson spoke sure. about the physicality and how that probably wasn't where you wanted or expected it to be on Sunday. What do you put that down to? Is that an, an attitude thing or was it more a result of what the Wallabies were bringing? Um, yeah, I, I, the boys have been pretty hard on themselves around that. Um, and, and the reason why that is because they've got their standards that they uh, that they want to bring to any big contest, and if those standards aren't reached, then um, yeah, we're going to get reaction like that. So yeah, a couple of clips that we showed the, the players in review probably fired them up a little bit. Um, so yeah, we got they were, they were brutally honest, weren't they, the, the boys that did media yesterday? Has there been a, a different conversation around selection for this weekend's test? Uh, well, we have conversation around selection every week, um, but um, whether that's going to be different, I don't know, from week to week, but there was some conversations, absolutely. You're going to go there again with Bowden Barrett, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> every week. Uh, good on you. John, have you got an injury update for us on the uh, He played a um, small part in training today. Um, yep. So uh, I haven't, we haven't caught up with the medical team yet. So we just got back from training, but we'll um, we'll see how he went on. He looked like he was running pretty well. Any other injuries? Uh, no, I think Richie had a little bit of a sting on his shoulder, but um, nothing too much. Sam Whitelock um, didn't pay, uh, take part in training today. Um, so yeah, we'll. Hopefully he'll be right for the weekend. So would you say Bowden is looking likely? Um, yeah, he's looking likely. Yep, absolutely. Yep. But um, he was looking likely this time last week as well. So yeah, we'll see how he gets through. Um, got a day off tomorrow, big day Friday, and uh, we'll see see how he gets on. He seems to be an issue for him this year. Yeah, I know the Blues had the same issues with him when he was there. So, um, yeah, it's just something that's just niggling away and something's potentially going to have to take a little bit of a break from the game so it clears up. At this point, there's no one unavailable for selection? Uh, like I said, Sam Whitelock, um, he, he had some headaches after the game, so he'll go through concussion uh, protocol and we'll see how he gets on during the week. Did you notice anything in the game that sort of made you reminisce about Hurricanes Chiefs games when you were 2015, 2016, when you were across the sword? <laughs> uh, yeah, there were some similarities. Yeah, and we knew that was coming. Um, but you know, that type of play on the field's got to be dealt to by the ref, dealt with by the ref. And um, you know, there was several occasions where there were some off-ball incidents and stuff. But like I say, you know, it's got to be dealt with properly uh, on the field. Um, so, um, but we've got to we've got to be able to adjust to that as well, and I think that's probably um, you know why you got a couple of senior players in particular pretty fired up about it. Were you disappointed by the lack of some calls by the um, Oh yeah, look, I mean they see what they see, you know. If uh, if Paul missed stuff, then he's missed it. Uh, but if it's a consistent habit that he's seeing and it's not being looked after, then obviously we'd be disappointed. So we haven't had those conversations with uh, with, with the referee. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You, they're, if they're, their intent is greater than ours around uh, off-ball incidents, then, um, you, know, you know, we've just got to make sure we have a crack back at them. <laughs> but, you know. Was there a habit being missed? Um, there were, oh, I wouldn't say there was Consistent, it wasn't, wasn't consistent. There were some, there were some late charges. I mean, you guys saw all of that. There was, a, there was one or two other incidents. But you know, All Blacks don't cry. You know, we just get on with it, and uh, um, and and we we adjust to what's been how the game's been refereed, and that's in every department. Whether it's uh, whether it's breakdown, you know, set piece, we just have to adjust to, to how the game's been played. John, what did your gut feel today? Like having a, a New Zealand referee managing a game like that? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think it puts a lot of pressure on the referee more than anything. Uh, not so much on us, I think it's on him. 
I mean, the, the, the local referees referee us a lot. They know us, and, and, uh, and, and we know why it puts pressure on the referee, because it's based around, um, you know, being biased or, or whatever. So, um, you know, we had trust in Paul to do a good job, and, um, you know, he went out there and did his best. Uh, there's always going to be uh, big talking moments in, in test matches, um, and probably one of the bigger talking moments was some of the, some of the late hits. Um, off the ball incidents and that, but you know, like I said, we've seen it all before in these big ga bled, bled games, haven't we? And Tom, did anything surprise you about the Wallabies and the way they played and maybe the increased physicality that they brought on Sunday? No, not at all. I think um, knowing Wren's, I know how he coaches, and we talked about that um, before the first game, and I think that's the most disappointing thing is that. You know, we talked about it all week, um, but we didn't match their, their intent or physicality. Um, but hey, that's good for us that week. Uh, this week, it's going to be sitting in our belly, and um, it's something we've got to get right. Is it easy enough to, to fix that as players? If you, you know, if you know that you haven't matched them physically the way you want to, is it an easy enough adjustment to make getting into a second test? Yeah, I think it is. I think the beauty of that is it doesn't take talent. Um, it's something upstairs and um, you can feel it in the room this week, we've got plenty of that so um, yeah, like I said it doesn't take talent, we've just got to be switched on mentally. Tonight, like, were there signs with that thing that we're keeping game on and, and that was that hard? Look, nah, we, we thought we prepared really well um, but for some reason just wasn't quite there in the game um, but the beauty is that we've played them now, we know how they, they're going to play and obviously they'll adjust a few things, but um, we know what we now know what's required um, to go out there and, and compete. Does it not surprise you to see how the Wallabies have come together on and off the field under him? Yeah, I, I was coached under Rens for four or five years, and it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, you know, he creates a good culture, and we you know, we know that he's going to have big physical, um, niggly men around the field, um, and, and that's what they did. Yeah, that's how he um, likes to connect the team, and um, obviously they've got a lot of Pacific Islanders um, in their team, so it, it's special for them to feel a part of it. Um, and yeah, that he's he's pretty good at um, connecting a team in that way. Uh, probably the simplest way to put it is that at 12 you have less time on the ball and 13 you've probably got a little bit more space. Um, at 13 you're probably making um, bigger decisions with the shut or, or push off but um, yeah I think for the both of us we can sort of interchange between either pretty easily and um, you know, I like to see it as a strength of our game. Anton, how do you think Rico coached before this big tough day at Jocks for him? Like, <coughs> some kind of obvious kind of things. Um, you know, how, how, and what can you take from it? What can you learn? How can you be a better player for the eventually last week? Yeah, I think um, knowing Rex, he's you know he's going to hit back hard, and um, obviously there was a couple of things there that that he could have improved. But we all know the the huge talent he possesses and the character he has is that. You know, uh, he'll learn from those occasions and he won't go into his shell. So, you know, I, I thought for the most part he does his role uh, pretty well. Um, and obviously, unfortunately, it's going to be overlooked by, you know, one moment. But hey, he's a he's a classy player. So, you know, I, I know the character he has and, you know, he'll hit back hard. John, is Scott Barrett <coughs> and or Nani available this uh, Not Nani, but Scott Barrett is. Yep. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, no, he's um, followed um, his rehab program perfectly and um, yep, he's on, uh, this was potentially his return to play date, um, so it was just, it's just how we use Scotty, whether we send him back to flip, play for Taranaki or whether he plays a role with us, so um, we'll, that'll be something we'll consider. Just the sort of guy you like to unleash on the world? Yeah, but you know, um, you know, it's a little while since he's played, so there's all those factors to, 
to take into it. But you know, uh, you know Scotty's a pretty honest boy. He 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 knows where he's at at the moment. Uh, done a lot of work, um, obviously with the team last couple of weeks, um, just around his you know obviously not just his conditioning but also his contact work, uh, set piece stuff. So he's pretty much taking part in everything. So that's it's good for us. John, when you got forwards that are bristling, I guess might be a word to describe, like, like obviously your ones are this week, in your experience, what's kind of the key? Because obviously you want forwards well motivated and pumped, but you don't want them over the line, do you? What, what's the key to getting the most out of your forwards this weekend? Yeah, the, the, uh, the, I guess the, the, hurt, the hurt is there, um, as, as the Australians will, be, will know that. They'll expect a response. and. But the thing is, at the end of the day, for us, it's just a matter of getting over that hurt, making sure we um, just nail our plan that we need to. There's going to be changes, um, you know, from what we do, um, and um, we've just got to go through through that and uh, and put the put all of that aside, all the hurt aside, and um, just focus on on the plan. And then, uh, as we get closer to the contest, then obviously, you know, you look back at you might look back and reflect on the at the start of the week, but right now the key to it is that we just get our focus right and making sure that we get our plan right and we build slowly and like any other big test week. How close are the so a couple of raw bone youngsters like Kelly Grace and Dalton to playing? Uh, look, I mean it's still early, you know. We've got hopefully we've got a, well, I don't know how many tests we've got. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a couple less now, but um, you know it's still early, and it's still and it's still early for those some of those youngsters. You know they they just getting used to this environment. Um, so we've had one test. We're not going to go and make a wholesale changes. We'd be mad to do that. Um, so um, they just they'll they'll get their opportunity. It's just a case of them getting used to the All Black way, and um, you know we'll see those guys in the jersey. Absolutely. Just on that test schedule, as someone who knows this. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the the thing for just keeping a, a close eye on what's been happening over there. Um, uh, the disappointing thing was that they they couldn't get their curry cup going quick enough. So the the longer that got delayed, the harder it was always going to be for them to get match hardened, match ready. Um, so that I guess that was one of the um, you know, one of the major uh, contributing factors in, in them making that decision that they just didn't just don't have the time and obviously they're the world champions as well so to come down here if they don't feel like they're ready they're not going to put that on the line um, but um, it's still still hopefully you know maybe we'll get to see them if, even if they don't make the start of it maybe make I don't know what the decision will be around it but it'd be great to eventually you know they'll, they'll want to play it's just when. Anton how much do you thrive on the challenge of facing the spring box and, and how much or how disappointing would it be uh, if you didn't get that challenge this year? Yeah, I think it just as Plum said, he said the, the best in the world and that sort of got me going. Um, that's who you want to play. Um, and I guess that's the tag this team had for a long time and that's what we're striving for. So, um, look, if we get the opportunity to play them this year, um, it's definitely one we'll be up for. Last couple of questions Yeah, I think in this group there's always pressure, but I think the character of the group, a lot of the pressure comes from the individual um, and our standards from the ind individual almost higher than anyone else can put on us. So, look, there is pressure, but you know we, we want to be the best individually and that's normally where the pressure comes from. <laughs> Ankles fine, yeah. <laughs> so not wanting to lower the tone, but have you guys both put that out of the way? <laughs> Need to. Uh, yeah, we've we've got day off first. Friday. Tomorrow. Friday. Friday. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, day off. So yeah, we'll be doing that. Yep. Yeah. Be on mass visit to the polling booth. Or is it <laughs> 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 hey, and sorry, Aaron Smith said yesterday took it took a lot on himself. He said he didn't barely meet his own standards. I mean, I thought that was quite telling. Is is that the, from your bats particularly? Is that kind of the approach that you all have to be better this week? You have to sort of take that on yourself? Yeah, for sure. I don't think there was, you know, one person within the team that was 
too proud of what they put out. Look, I came off the bench and I needed to be better, and that's the feeling in the group. Um, so yeah, definitely this week everyone's motivated to be better. Just on the back of that, John, um, obviously <coughs> the boys were quite down on, on themselves. Have you at all had to remind them that you know that is only one test, and uh, there is still several to go to not get too down too early in the in the season? Um, yeah, but you've got to give their, them the opportunity to be frustrated um, and disappointed, um, and then and then we've you know then we start talking and we start talking about rebuilding our mindset and and what our focus is and everything after that, and then we you know as there obviously at some point you've got to you know pull your shoulders back, get your chest out, get a smile on your face, and get on with get on with your week. Uh, otherwise, the whole it'll just drag you down and you'll run out of energy by sad day because you're so annoyed with yourself, you know. So yeah, we're, we're boys are in that mode now. Um, we've got a clear plan, and um, like I said earlier, we just uh, we just build slowly. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.